This video demonstrates the proper use of PreCleanse point of use processing gel, which is designed to keep procedural soils moist and initiate the cleaning process on reusable surgical instruments and medical devices prior to decontamination. Steris recommends following your facility's policies and or industry standards and guidelines regarding the transportation of soiled instruments. It is important that surgical soils are not allowed to dry on devices before cleaning and reprocessing because dried soil is much more difficult to remove. Refer to the product's instructions for use for complete product use details. Post procedure. An OR staff member should be responsible for initiating the decontamination process at point of use locations. The device or instrument manufacturer is required to provide detailed written instructions for the full reprocessing cycle, including any pre-cleaning or disassembly directly after use. Safe transport of instruments includes preventing soils from drying, sometimes for prolonged periods of time, supporting good infection control practices, minimizing any risk of device damage, and aiding in the cleaning process. PreCleanse Point of Use Processing Gel allows for staff to initiate the pre-cleaning process without handling contaminated instruments. The formulation maintains the moisture and pliability of soils for extended periods, even as long as 72 hours. PreCleanse Point of Use Processing Gel is a non-enzymatic formula that dispenses in coarse droplets which eliminates the risk of aerosolization and drifting into the sterile field. Four easy steps can be followed for safe use of PreCleanse point of use processing gel. Step one, place soiled instruments in tray. Step two, turn the cab counterclockwise to the unlocked position. Press down on the cap with your fingertip to begin dispensing. Step three, apply the pre-cleanse gel for two to five seconds with a sweeping motion and lift your finger to stop dispensing. Step four, instruments are now ready for transport. The containers used for transport according to the U.S. Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, should be puncture resistant, leak proof on its sides and bottom, and marked with a biohazard label or is read to denote biohazardous, contaminated contents. In addition, the staff that is transporting the contaminated items needs to receive periodic education and training, as well as have a process in place to assure competency on basic infection control principles, including the use of a spill kit and proper PPE. For more information, contact your Steris representative or visit steris.com slash precleanse.